All right, we're live and back at you. Um, Legacy Leadership Chat. I'm your host, uh, Gerald Jarman. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today is going to be very another special opportunity for us to expound, to talk, to chat, to converse about this wonderful topic of true mentorship. Um, today, I want to go into a phrase um, that I coined um, years ago, and it's, it's the phrase is actually goes like this. Mentor one, touch thousands, okay? Mentor one, touch thousands. And you say, what does that mean? Um, so, in reality, when you impact one person, when you impact one person's life, this has been my experience, when you impact one person's life, they in turn, what you invested in them, they will go and invest it in others, and then it's a domino effect. So I have, and I have examples of this. So, uh, mentor one, Touch thousands. So when I was in prep school, I went to Fort Union Military Academy, uh, prep school in Richmond, Virginia. And while I was there, um, there was a, we had a great team, you know, great team, great talented team. We were one of the top um, prep schools in the nation. And there was a young man on the team who kind of gleaned towards me, and I began to, you know, kind of mentor him, uh, kind of took him under my wing so to speak, and for that year, I was able to, you know, invest some time and so forth, and so what happened was, and, and, and again, this wasn't planned, it's just kind of what happened, and again, my life, again, the reason why I can speak on this topic so fluently as far as legacy leadership and what true mentorship is is because I've actually lived it, I've modeled it for years. Um, so. So at this point in time, throughout the year, you know, I kind of helped them in different different ways and different things, and we talked about a lot of different situations, scenarios, um, and actually um, influenced them for the entire year. So what happened was he spoke at graduation um, that same year. So at the prep school, and I wasn't there, but what happened was he shared about his experiences in life and at prep school and he talked about the influence I had on his life for that one year. And this was in front of the entire cadet community, okay? Um, it, it's, it's a military academy, Fort Union. So um, it went from me impacting his life to now I became such an integral part of his experience that he was sharing this with the entire cadet corps, which was uh, K through 12. And I had people call me to tell me how great it was and um, just to, to commend me for several of for my efforts and, and things of that nature. So, and then beyond that, you know, he goes to college, we both go to college and um, I'm still a part of his story, even to this day in different ways, different things. So, as you can see, um, I mentored him, but in essence, uh, what came out of that was Others get an understanding of uh, what it meant to mentor someone. And, and now to take it a step further, there are a lot of the principles of legacy leadership that he implemented in his life, and in turn, he's impacted others who have <laughs> benefited from his tutelage, so to speak, and he's done it for others, and then they take it. So it's just a continual a continuum of true mentorship. Now, what that means is um, you can have an influence beyond your reach. And, and, and let me say it this way, you know, mothers and fathers, you have a son or you have a daughter, um, that's your first commitment, okay? There's also opportunities for all of us to, to mentor others outside of our home, okay? so. There are people who can actually, there are young men who actually call me father figures, okay? I'm not their biological father. I would never take that place. I would never try to be that. However, there are a lot of young men throughout the years who look up to me as a father figure, especially in the inner city. Um, just from my time spending with them, I'm mentoring them, um, you know, just being there for them, whatever they need providing for them, spending time, going to their home. Um, so 
you, your, your influence can be so uh, rich and meaningful that someone can see you as a mother figure or a father figure. Okay, so that's important to understand. And there are many fatherless people in our nation. Okay, that, that's an epidemic, especially in the inner city. A lot of fatherlessness, and that's the reason for a lot of the crime, a lot of the violence. They don't have that, um, that, you know, that, that strong male figure. Now, let's give it up for the moms, okay? Mothers are holding it down, you know, and they're doing a great job. You know, a lot of mothers are, you know, they're saying, I'm gonna do this on my own, I can handle this. And there are a lot of young men and women who have, who have been successful and are still successful today, even though it's just their mother. So single moms, we salute you. Um, at the same time, you know, fathers, fathers have a, a, a definite impact, especially when it comes to daughters, okay? Um, so what I'm trying to, what am I trying to say? Your, your impact is obviously goes beyond your home, but then there are people, uh, whether you're in a program, whether you're working in a certain program, where you're in a school, whether you're um, in the workplace, there's other people around you. Just remember that, you know, people around you have needs all the time. And there are different levels of mentorship as well. There are different levels. Um, there are some levels of there's some that are more surfacey, so to speak. Then there's some that can go on a deeper level. So, um, and that'll be determined by, I guess, your mentee, um, how much they want, how much time you're able to offer. So there's different levels to this thing. You know, um, some will glean, some will glean more from you, some will glean less. So, but it's, it's a lot of times it's determined by the mentee and their capacity to receive but also your capacity or your, the time you have to give. So just keep that in mind. So great session today. I just wanted to expound on that topic. As I mentioned, Mentor One Touch Thousands. I'm excited, we'll continue to move forward. Um, don't forget uh, my book, uh, The Transition Series. Um, this is a great book. You will hear from someone soon, a uh, student athlete who the book really benefited. Uh, this individual, she goes to George Mason, and so you'll hear her testimony probably next week. All right, so until then, you guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. Perfect.